Thank you very much uh, for the chance to present uh, this nine time and historic regularity, in fact, from rate of total electoral content by solar bar that the general assembly of the Ethiopian Space Science Society. Uh, we have outlined interrogations, data images, results, and conclusions. When we come to the introduction part, first we will define what is atmospheric irregularities and how atmospheric irregularities are formed. So, basically, as you know, these atmospheric irregularities are a major area source uh, in GPS positioning and navigation. Uh, because these irregularities uh, can affect the signal propagation. Uh, when the signal uh, propagates through the atmosphere, it can cause random rapid fluctuation in the amplitude and the phase of a uh, given or received signal. Uh, due to this, these atmospheric irregularities are uh, responsible for the formation of this uh, atmospheric scintillations. Uh, basically, these atmospheric irregularities are formed at the bottom of Earth region. Uh, this is due to relative gravitational instability uh, mechanisms. Uh, as you know, during the post sunset uh, time, the lower region of F layer recombine uh, more rapidly than the upper region of the F region. This uh, situation leads to uh, the unstable uh, phenomena. Uh, for example, if you uh, consider to have a fluid and a lighter fluid, if you uh, draw a heavy fluid on the lighter fluid, so uh, there is a movement of lighter fluid uh, upward and the heavy fluid move downward. Due to this, there is a disturbance. Uh, like this, uh, under the recombination process and during the post-state time, there is such like or similar situation uh, up in this case. Uh, so, this situation uh, can be uh, due to the formation of plasma bubbles. As you know, these plasma bubbles uh, grow when these plasma bubbles grow. A step density gradient from the world uh, cause a small irregularity. So this small irregularity uh, can be responsible for the formation of these scintillations. So different researchers or many researchers study about atmospheric irregularity uh, by using S4 places. For example, the researchers that mentioned here are study atmospheric irregularity uh, for a symmetric event for case studies. And from their case studies, they reported that atmospheric irregularity occurrence can be triggered or increased by a magnetic storm. And other, other researchers uh, like Allah characterize atmospheric scintillation by using uh, S4 index. So, from this uh, research, they showed that the monthly occurrence of atmospheric scintillation were recorded in April and lost in the June. And similarly, they also reported that the highest occurrence of atmospheric scintillation occurred or recorded in Chilix uh, and the lost one in the Jews' license. And many researchers used several parameters to characterize or to study atmospheric regularity, like amplitude scintillation, uh, phase scintillations, or fluctuation of uh, ETC, as they can they use with different mechanisms. Uh, for example, if you consider uh, those researchers mentioned here, uh, they use the S4 index. Uh, from a GPS uh, data uh, from the CDI networks to study 
uh, atmospheric regularities are responsible for the formation of atmospheric situation. For example, if you see such young 2050 uh, researchers, the routine greater than or equal to 0 0.5 is responsible for atmospheric situations. And the other important point under the speciology, percentage occurrence of atmospheric regularities. Percentage occurrence can be calculated by these this equations. For example, number of roti greater than threshold means, in this case, our threshold value means uh, roti greater than or equal to 0.5 means our threshold over element of means total number of uh, roti values in the sample data type standard. And <coughs> when it comes to result and discussion, uh, we categorize this result and discussion part into two. The first one, monthly occurrence of atmospheric regularity, and the other one is daily occurrence of atmospheric regularity. Uh, in this section, in this section, we identify the occurrence of atmospheric regularity over Barda uh, in 2050 using uh, roti values. So monthly occurrence of atmospheric regularity can be using this index, uh, another index. So, under this situation, data are taken from different parallel numbers in the time between 50 and 23 UT, which is uh, basically the post sunset time. And the optimal is between 0, 0 up to 60 UT are less than 0.5 due to this, uh, optimal is between these uh, time frames are excluded in this area of search. So, depending on this, we will have results like this. If you consider Germany, uh, there is some uh, points, some root values which are greater than 0.5, similar in February. But when you see uh, the root values in March and April, there is many number of events that are greater than uh, 0.5 tis per minute. So, from these four graphs, March, in the case of March and April, a large number of atmospheric irregularities are uh, occurred or atmospheric sensation may be uh, occurred in these regions. So, when we come to the uh, other months like May, June, July, August, so from here uh, may have uh, many old values or uh, more old values, and in the case of June, uh, there is small and the other is relatively small when you compare to the uh, other months. And similarly, for the case of uh, September, October, and November, December, September and October are peculiar months. They have better uh, atmospheric regularity or road to ice greater than 0 0.5 when you compare to other uh, solid months. Uh, this is because when we see the uh, regularity or distribution or occurrence of atmospheric regularity is different from months uh, to months. Uh, generally, we can say that the QX months have higher OT values and uh, solstice months have uh, low uh, OT values. That means atmospheric regularities are not more in QX uh, and lost in the case of uh, solstice lenses. So from the upper monthly graphs, we can conclude that roti greater than 0 0.5 is mostly observed in April, March, and May. This implies that if roti value is greater than 0 0.5, means there is the highest occurrence of atmospheric regularity in these months, April, March, and May. And the other remaining months are most of the time, as there are solstice lenses, so their atmospheric regularity occurrence is very uh, low. So this result is similar to atmospheric sensation occurrence reported by Seba and George in 2050. Because these atmospheric sensations are studied by using S4, but our case will be studied by using Roti. But the results are reasonable uh, with these uh, uh, findings. So it all shows, shows that atmospheric regularity happen mostly at the post-sensing time.
this is due to the pre-universal uh, announcement of electric field. For example, if you see uh, the time between 80 and 30, there is high property value sciences. Between, for example, from uh, 50 inches low, but between 80 and 30 UT, there is more value support. Similar in more cases. So from here, you can conclude that atmospheric irregularities are most of the time occurring in the, in the post sunset time in the equatorial regions. So that is the reason why uh, atmospheric irregularities are different uh, through methods. Uh, because uh, different uh, points on the earth uh, can get more or less uh, sun. So, for example, if you consider the cubic lenses, uh, those cubic lenses are the same over here on the crater region. But in the case of uh, solid lenses, uh, apart from the sun, so these cubic lenses can get more sunlight due to this atmospheric regularity occurrence in the cubic lenses are uh, high. And <coughs> The other important point, the atmospheric plasma regularities are varies from the months of June and occurrence of atmospheric plasma regularities are highest in April when you uh, compare it. This example also mentioned with another report called the Salva using the S4 index. So, this explanation for how atmospheric regularity occurs in April is that April is why the reason why atmospheric regularity is high in Cunix means like April because uh, Cunix means like April is an critical event in which the magnetic meridian is closely aligned with the solar terminator according to the article mentioned uh, by those researchers. The other important point is the date of occurrence of atmospheric irregularities. Uh, so, in this case, we select five ten uh, distant days from the World Data Center. Uh, based on this data, we plot different atmospheric parameters versus uh, time. So, we select April 25 as the quiet and April 15 as the distant days, and we have see three parameters VTC, ROTS, and ROTS uh, with different times. For example, from 2,000 UT, there is no fluctuation of BTC and there is no fluctuation of rot and most of rot values are below 0.5. Uh, so, in all cases of this study, we use the deviation and greater than degree to minimize the multiple effect of uh, multiple effect on atmospheric uh, regularity or situations. So, when you take from Southern to uh, 11 UT, there is also there is no BTC uh, fluctuation, similarly, multi values are 0.5. But when you come to 13 up to 17, the same day, the same day, uh, there is a small regular uh, fluctuation here. There is a small, but still until it is below 0.5. And finally, from 16 up to 21, there is BTC fluctuation, roti change, and there is roti values greater than 0.5. So from here we can say that roti values are more exist during the time between 18 to 20 UT, which is uh, universal, I mean, which is post sunset time. Uh, so the, the second point, the distant day, for example, you know, if you take April 15, uh, from 2 up to 7 UT, the, the two are more similar. There is no BTC fluctuation and there is no roti here, or most of roti values are below 0.5. And similarly, uh, from uh, 7 up to 2 up, from PR and 10, there is also there is no that much BTC fluctuation and also there is no uh, atmospheric regularity in this case because most values are below 0.5. Uh, <coughs> and uh, 
value come from starting at K T U T, there is a small irregularity here between subjective and H U T. These irregularities are there is a road to also, there is also road to one is greater than 0.5 in this region. So <coughs> similarly from 17 up to 22, there is large transfer, which is the or vertical electron content fluctuation. And finally, we have uh, more values of protein greater than 0 0.5. So we can say that between 18 and 20, uh, around this, there is high uh, probability of uh, atmospheric regularity of colors. Uh, from the above uh, two graphs, the above graphs, we can conclude uh, there is a high correlation between fluctuation in BTC and roti. If there is high fluctuation in BTC, we may have roti values greater than 0 0.5. If there is no fluctuation in BTC, we may not have roti greater than 0 0.5. So they have uh, correlations. So the enhancement of atmospheric regularity index roti corresponding to high to BTC populations. And the other from uh, day, daytime atmospheric regularities are infrequent. In this study, there is no uh, daytime atmospheric regularities. You can see from here, daytime, there is no regularity. There is no regularity. So, in the case of daytime, there is no atmospheric regularity in the equatorial region, like that. And comparison of from the above figures from the uh, disturbed day and the plots of the quiet day, and the irregularity that give rise to high roti occur in the same parts of the sky, respecting to the normal electrical response patterns. So the increased fluctuation of BTC and high roti were seen to correspond to high root values after sunset, particularly as we, we observed in the graph between 18 and 20 UT, most of roti values are greater than 0 0.5 for those selected quiet and disturbed days of the year 2015. Uh, now we come to our conclusion. In this conclusion part, we detect atmospheric regularity occurs by computing VTC roads, especially roti directly from GPS data that is recovered from joint GPS receivers of the IGS network. And from this study, we can say that it is possible to use relics from joint GPS receiver of the IGS network to study the presence of atmospheric regularity using the record total electron content index or roti values. So, atmospheric regularity occurs vary from day to day, month to month, uh, season to season, and most frequently occur uh, during the post sunset uh, times because of the free universal enhancement in this uh, time. And the atmospheric regularity occurs generally uh, occurs during April, March, and May, and other lenses show relatively atmospheric regularity. Finally, from roti values, we have confirmed that atmospheric regularity that are responsible for atmospheric saturations are usually a nighttime phenomenon. Uh, here is uh, finally, thank you very much. If you have any questions, you can forward. Thank you.